Right now, crews are continuing to try to clean up from this crash out here. As you take a look on Little York Road, you can see where they've tried to push a rock back onto the side of the road here that had been hit by that Jeep. And then you look over there, we want to warn you, this crash uh, wreckage is just pretty bad here. That Jeep is really, really mashed and mangled at this point in the morning. Officials getting ready to tow that away here. Now, again, at this point, police are still investigating what happened out here. But neighbors think that they know what caused this crash. Now, this was the scene shortly after the crash here off Little York Road near Singing Ridge Boulevard. The Jeep is twisted onto its top, the outside mashed and mangled. Now, police say the driver lost control for some unknown reason, smashed into a rock before flipping. Now, a neighbor here heard the crash, said it sounded like a plane hitting something. It was so loud. She ran out to help. She's actually a criminal justice student and thought that she could do some good, but there was nothing she could do. Now, police say the 35-mile-per-hour curve here isn't any worse than any other, but neighbors say they see their share of crashes from drivers going too fast. People just fly around that corner, and they don't yield the signs, unfortunately, and bad things happen. Now, again, we've talked with police, and they say that it's still a mystery as to what might have led up to this crash. They say nobody saw it, only people heard it. And at this kind of hour with no witnesses, they may never know exactly what caused that crash. Now, at this point, again, officials are still cleaning up out here. They tell us they hope to have the road open here in the next half hour or so. But in the meantime, if you're headed this way for work or school, you may want to avoid Little York Road here near Singing Ridge Boulevard. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.